Hey guys, how's it going? It's Blake here from Matt Kite, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cabrina 2017 Apollo. We had a request months ago from Toby Brower, who's the air style master of the world, and um, he's from kiteform.com, so he requested that we do a review on the Apollo and let him know what we think, because he hasn't seen too much of that online. So. Today I'm going to go check out a spot that I've never been to that I found on Google Maps. There's a cool fort there and it looks like a nice foil boarding spot so don't really know what to expect but might as well go check it out. One of the greatest things about kiteboarding is the fact that it gives you a reason to travel and explore. With every new location you visit, it opens your eyes to the world at large. I actually learned a lot from my excursion. It turns out that in the early 20th century, pearl diving played a large role in the development of Qatar. After my history lesson, I decided to see what else I could discover. Right now, I'm just exploring the western coast. I've been driving around all day and trying to find a cool kite spot to ride the Apollo at my foil board. So, hoping to get in the water here pretty soon and I'll let you guys know what I think. There's a lot about this place that is completely foreign yet familiar all at once. It's been a long time since I've been in the Middle East and coming back as an adult is just as much fun as it was when I was growing up here with my brother. Later that afternoon, I found a quiet little beach called Al Shamal and set up camp for the evening. Now, this isn't my first rodeo with the Apollo. I put quite a bit of time in on it, on a 10 meter back in Key West, from big airs to experimenting on hook to jumping the pier. Here in Qatar, I've had quite a few sessions on the larger Apollo, and it's been revealing to say the least. Like any kite, there are some great things, and there are some things that could be better. In spite of the light wind, my session at Al Shamal turned out to be really fun. Now, like any beach, Kiteboarding draws some attention. As I wrapped up, a few of the locals decided to check out what I was up to. So. Hey, how are you? I'm Blake. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Blake. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Post session, I had the chance to talk to these guys and show them my gear. <laughs> All the way. These guys were really curious. And not only that, but they were kind enough to help me put away my gear. Oh, you did better than me. You did a better job than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Apollo Cabrina kiteboarding video. <laughs> yes, thank you guys very much. Yep, see you later. Well, that was quite a light wind session. Barely enough wind to stay upwind out there. Had a great time. Enjoyed the beautiful sunset. Met some cool Bangladeshi people on the beach and some Qatari guys in their big white SUVs and had a great time. So it's fun all the time just flying a kite, whether you're walking up wind or not. Forgot the Allen key to my foil board, unfortunately. So just went for a quick twin tip session. Had a good time and enjoying the Apollo. So I am here to do the Apollo review for Toby Brower. He specially requested it. And we've been putting it off for months now because we want to make sure that we get the best review out there that we can. So I've ridden it quite a bit. I've gotten to know the kite quite well, and here's what I think. Well, the first thing that I really liked when I started flying the Apollo is its fast forward speed. So just really rapidly picks up. As soon as you get moving, it just kind of shoots to the edge of the window and um, really just generates a lot of speed as you get going. So. 
it's light out there and you need extra speed, this kite generates all of that. Whereas the Contra has a lot of power and pull, but it doesn't have as much rapid forward speed. So with the shape of the kite, it just kind of rockets upwind and shoots you forward. Another thing I found that I really liked about the Apollo is that it has a lot of hang time. So compared to all the other Cabrina kites that I've flown in the past, this one gives you an extra second or a couple seconds every jump. This kite really offers you the most hang time out of any kite that I've flown. It does have a little bit of um, delay on its steering. As you send the kite, you just have to kind of time your pop and sending the kite properly. But once you get that down, um, this kite generates tons of lift and hang time and is super fun for air style and freestyle tricks. So I wouldn't recommend it for a wake stop, but if you're looking to boost to the moon, then this kite is for you. So I had the 10 Apollo, um, which I flew throughout the last season in the Florida Keys. And that kite on a super windy day, I could jump way higher than most people because everyone had the regular shaped SLD kites, um, more low aspect. And then this thing, although I couldn't do some of the tricks that I wanted to do, it would just boost to the moon and I would just be floating around. I would recommend this for hang time and anyone looking to jump. Another thing I liked about this kite was the way that it loops. It has very direct steering in a certain way. If you pull it, it's gonna pivot around that point. So like, let's say you pull the bar, this wingtip, it's gonna pivot directly around that. It's not like a regular kite where it swoops like smooth up and down. This kite just kind of pulls like this and goes down and if sending the kite and pull it like that, it's gonna loop. So it almost does like a perfect loop around the center point. So if it's here, it'll loop directly around the wingtip. It doesn't have a lot of power through the loops. If you're gonna try and go for a mega loop or a big kite loop, this kite would feel very strange for that. So it's not good for like big mega loops and everything. But it is nice for air style and kind of freestyle because as you're looping it, down looping it at the edge of the window or if you're kite looping it, um, even though it's a big kite, it doesn't pull you with a ton of power. So you can do your Jesus walk and loop it at the edge of the window and it won't like pull you too much, but then I'll just shoot right through, power up to get you going again. It does everything that I want it to do in the looping sector, but um, <laughs> Yeah, I would recommend it for air style, freestyle tricks. So Toby, I would say that this kite would be really good for you because a lot of the tricks you're doing, you're sending the kite from one side of the window to the other and you're down looping it and maximizing the wind window. So if your wind window is here, you're sending it from one side to the other, looping it through for all of you that don't know um, about that. And so when you're doing air style tricks like Toby Brower and Scott from Upwind Kiteboarding, they're doing a lot of tricks where you're maximizing the wind window. So you're sending the kite from one side all the way to the other, doing your trick in the middle, and then as it gets to the other end, you're looping it and going back through. So for those kind of tricks, this kite is really good. And it reminds me a lot of the fly surfers that I've flown, foil kites that you see a lot of people riding that are doing those tricks and kind of barefoot water skiing behind a kite. And all of those tricks we, we require a lot of lift and a lot of hang time. So this kite does that and then it loops out nicely at the end. So I would uh, recommend this for Toby. I'd love to see you try it someday if you can do that and see what you can throw down on this kite. So another thing I really like about this kite is the way it looks one of a kind. There's not a whole lot of kites out there that have its shape and also the upwind hang time that most foil kites give you. So to me, I think those are a lot of good things to like about it. Obviously, I'm doing a review here and it would not be a proper review without giving you some things that I would change about it. So one thing that I would change about the Apollo is the relaunch. I don't know how exactly I would change it because this shape is unique to its own. But what I struggled with at times was relaunching it because usually I take the 16 Apollo out in very light wind. When you crash it down, it's very flat. And so there's not much curve to it. So when you're trying to relaunch it, it just kind of sits like this and doesn't relaunch. So in order to relaunch the kite, 
You have to be skilled at light wind relaunch or reverse launching a kite, which is more of an intermediate to advanced skill. So I would say this kite is not for beginners at all, which I don't think they market it for as well. But when you crash the kite, it's a little bit more of a hassle than the Contra or other light wind kites that you fly. So you have to really work at it. You have to either grab both the outside lines, pull in on it and have the kite go up and then reverse launch it. But the thing about that is, is it is very wide for how um, high aspect it is. So when you pull on the lines, it has to go up quite a bit before you can swivel it around to shoot it up in the sky. Or you have to do the pull the center lines, release it, flip it onto its back, and then sheet out all the way, get the kite onto its wingtip, work it to the edge of the window. That's one thing that I would change is that it's a very high aspect kite, so when you're relaunching it, flipping it onto its back, doing a reverse launch, it's just very wide, and um, so it takes a lot to flip it over and get it relaunched. Another thing that I would change about the kite is it has five struts, so it is a bit heavy. So it's very long, high aspect kite with five struts, and um, that just makes it a bit heavy. So if you're gonna have a friend launching you at the beach, I would recommend helping them get it set up and in position before you launch it because it is so long and there's a lot of struts that flipping that huge um, leading edge over onto its side is quite difficult. I think the last thing that I would change about this kite would be its D power. Previously I had a 17 meter Contra and that kite I felt was really good for um, like wake style, kind of freestyle but it, it was a bit harder to ride up wind than this kite. So this kite powers up wind, has a lot of forward speed, whereas the Contra has a lot of grunt and a lot of force and pull to it, but it pulls you harder downwind because it's a lower aspect kite. Whereas this kite is higher aspect, cranks up wind, has a lot of speed to it, but when you get overpowered, you can't depower it as much. So since there's not as much of a canopy to adjust, and the bridles are a lot more intricate with this one. Um, it just makes it harder to depower. So I was riding a wave session in Grand Haven on the 16 and it was blowing like, I mean, 20 miles, 20 probably. Um, so I was a bit overpowered, but I felt like I just couldn't do anything because I couldn't hold it down. Whereas with the 17 Contra, I could fly that thing to 25 miles an hour and uh, still be boosting and shredding around. Um, so for me, it just seems like, um, obviously this kite's not meant for being overpowered, but when you are overpowered, it doesn't have much deep power to offer you. So it has enough for the conditions that it's meant for, but if you get in conditions where the wind picks up, um, it's not ideal. So those are just some things that I would, um, change about them. Every kite's different. Every kite isn't meant for everything. Overall, I would say I recommend this kite for mostly intermediate to advanced riders who are into free ride, air style, foil boarding, and just riding in light winds. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for people who don't like going out in light winds or sometimes have to self-rescue and um, crash their kite and can't get it back up. So, it's a nice light wind kite, super fun, good hang time. Overall, I would say that I really enjoyed doing this gear review for you guys. And the guys over at Cabrina did a great job pioneering a new inflatable kite for our sport. And I'd give it a thumbs up. Definitely recommend it for people who are into that sort of thing. And I think Toby, you would enjoy it and you should try it out someday. Hope to see some videos of you shredding on it. So. That's all for this week, and if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe to our channel, and that's all for this week.